and warm greetings to everyone gathered here on this very special day today, which actually marks the first graduation ceremony, which is also the first online graduation ceremony of St. Joseph's International School for the graduates of the class of year 11 from the year 2020. It is a real privilege and honor to be present here with everybody here this morning. We welcome all our graduates all our parents and guardians to this wonderful and momentous occasion. Now, just before we start the day's proceedings, as a technical matter, uh, just a reminder to always have our microphones on mute. And for the most optimum viewing, you may have your view options whenever you see a screen up to have your side-by-side -side mode selected. This is for optimum viewing. We are now going to start our graduation ceremony. And on behalf of everyone present, myself, um, Kenneth, and Ms. Faram will be your MCs this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, as with every formal occasion, let us, with reverence, we will now be singing Nagaraku, our national anthem, followed by our state anthem, Ibu Pertiwi. So, ladies and gentlemen, Although we are now not physically uh, standing in a room together, seeing as how we are still going to be uh, respecting our national and state anthems, may I remind everybody to sit with reverence as our national anthem and state anthems will play. Thank you. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and I'll hand over to you, Ms. Faram, to continue with our morning's proceedings. Thank you, Mr. Kenneth. As is the custom in our school, let us begin by taking a moment to remember God's blessings. We invite Brother Emil to lead us in our opening prayer. Mm -hmm. 
Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and loving Father, we are grateful for the grace of life that you have bestowed on us this day. We come together this morning in celebration for the success that the Year 11 students have earned and worked for. We pray that you surround them with your grace as they step forward from this institution. Bless them with hope so that they move into the future with eagerness and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and insights they have gained through their education to use for the good of all humankind. Inspire them to believe in the goodness of life even when faced with challenges and difficulties. As they commence with their lives, may they grow ever more grateful and wise. We ask this and pray through Jesus Christ, your Son, with the intercession of Mary, our Good Mother, and Saint Marceline Champagne. Amen. Thank you very much, Brother Emil. We will now turn our attention to our CEO, Mr. Christopher Chua, who will be delivering his opening address. Over to you, Mr. Chua. Good morning, graduates of uh, class of SGIS 2020. I understand from Brother Robert that other than yourself, who are graduates that has been invited to this graduating ceremony, uh, your parents and your guardians have also been invited. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank parents and guardians and all those who have helped our graduates sitting in front of us here this morning to where they are today. In this respect, I would also like to take uh, this opportunity to thank teachers and staff of St. Joseph International School who have worked hard to create the best possible teaching environment and learning environment at SGIS for our graduates. As SGIS class of 2020 leaves us having completed the IGCSE exam, we are confident that they will walk out of our school gates armed with knowledge, faith, and character necessary to meet challenges in life. So now I would like to address the graduates of class of SGIS 2020. It is my pleasure to address you in your graduation ceremony this morning. This graduation is especially special to the family of schools as you are our first graduating IGCSE class. SGIS class of 2020 will definitely go down into the historical records of SJFS as being the first IGCSE class that have graduated. You have set for your IGCSE exam. The IGCSE certification will ensure you the pathway to your future, be it furthering your studies or going into vocational training. The qualification will make a significant contribution to the future of your world and equip you for your working life. I'm sure you can clearly remember the day that your parent brought you to your first classroom wearing your first uniform. That first classroom was a kindergarten. That was about 14 years ago. It was also on that day that your parent entrusted your education to the care of your teachers. And your teachers have been doing it ever since. Both your parents and teachers have in the past 14 years been slowly helping you to attain independence and self-determination. 
we at SJIS is proud to be part of that journey of yours. This morning, as we gathered here for this graduation ceremony, we are celebrating two very important events of your life. Firstly, your graduation from compulsory education. And secondly, your achievement for the past 14 years of your student life. What you have achieved and learned in the past 14 years. Graduation is not the end, but a beginning. In the past 14 years, it is just the blink of an eye compared to the opportunities that lies ahead for you. Graduation is not about receiving certificates. It is a time to reflect on memories and celebrate your academic accomplishment. Graduation is about opening doors to your future. It is a time to appreciate the past but consider the future. It is a time to tackle new experiences in life with the lessons learned from of all. The Catholic education that you received in SGIS has been immersed in the Catholic faith. The seed of living a faith-filled life has been planted, watered and nurtured over the last few years that you were here with us in SJIS. Time will tell what their blooms will reveal. Most of you joined SJIS in year eight, way back in 2017. Some joined in year nine or year 10. In your years with SJIS, be it four years, three years or two years, your teachers have imparted on you subject knowledge and formed you in character. Most importantly, they have taught you how to persevere. They have pushed you and, they, and you have responded, sometimes with much difficulty. But the fact that you are here this morning shows that you have stayed the course instead of giving up. As you leave us, remember the importance of perseverance. It is through struggles and failures that you learn, grow and succeed. In addition to perseverance, you must also have a dream of what you want to achieve in life. Steve Jobs once said, Don't waste life living someone else's life. Don't let noise of others' opinion drown your own inner voice. And most importantly, have the courage to follow your heart and your intuition. I hope your years in SGIS have given you just that, the courage to follow your heart and your dreams. We have 40 unique individuals sitting in front of us here this morning all with their own unique academic and social talents. In order to achieve your dream, you must set goals for yourself as they are necessary to motivate you to pursue your dream. It does not matter what the goal you set for yourself as long as you set one. In spite of all the obstacles that you meet every day, do everything in your power to successfully attain your goals. It may mean looking at things from a different angle or being creative. It may also mean taking chances and being willing to learn from your mistakes. For those who will be leaving us after your year 11, I wish you a lifetime of success in following your own dreams and we in this school will continue to pray that your dream comes true. For those who will be continuing your air-level studies with SJIS, I take this opportunity to welcome you to our air-level program. Thank you and God bless.
Thank you, Mr. Chua, for the overwhelming speech. And now we hand over to our principal, Brother Rob Bontio, who also has some very inspiring words for our graduates. Dear parents, teachers, and beloved Year 11 students of 2020, good morning, and I warmly welcome all of you to this graduation ceremony, which supposed to be held last year, but the COVID-19 pandemic has delayed it until now. I would like to congratulate our Year 11 students of 2020 for what they have achieved in our school and on their passage to adulthood. It is the worst of times, it is the best of times for us to hold graduation ceremony in this particular time. It is so heartening to recall what we went through with you in the year 2020. After first Josephian Day celebration, you experienced unprecedented lockdown, not because of war, but because of a new virus called COVID-19. You could not go to school for quite a long time. By the time you were allowed to attend school, you were weighed down with so many rules called SOP. You even had to change the venue of your IGCSE exam with a very short time notice. One of you, in fact, quietly did his self-quarantine and dare not letting any of his friends know about it. We will be fried of our favorite sport activities. Indeed, most of us live in a state of constant worry and make your learning full of fun. So it was also the best year of your life. This pandemic has prepared you well. It has unsettled you in many ways, but it makes you very flexible and able to adapt yourself to survive. Learn from this experience. Do not stay only within your comfort zone in life. A ship in harbor is safe, but that is not what seats are built for. I believe God has sent you into this world because you are his blessing for this world. Through you, God can make this world a better place for all. May you discover what you are sent for in this life. And may the Spirit of God empower you to complete the mission entrusted to you. Dear students, you have done very well in our school. Your school living certificate and many other testimonials recorded your achievement in your academic studies sports, and also in the various competitions that you have participated. Your involvement in volunteering work also well documented. Whether you choose to further your study or start working, please continue to build yourself up. Never stop learning because education never ends with graduation. Education is a passport to the future, for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. And I should congratulate you for obtaining this passport to venture into your future. I would like to thank your parents and our teachers for journeying with you patiently so far. It certainly is a big consolation for them to witness your achievement today. Never forget their sacrifices and their love for you. Without them, I don't think you can become who you are today. Show your appreciation and be grateful to them. Your graduation marks your passage into adulthood. As an adult, you are able to grasp the issues of society and country are facing. I encourage you to be the agents of change for our society. 
I wish that you can spend time and energy using the knowledge you have acquired to help you adjust and a better Malaysia for the future generations. The future of our country is indeed in your hands. Just remember that you will not be able to do it alone. So come together with other same-minded people, do it together. Finally, congratulations, class of 2020. Keep making your parents, your teachers, and your school proud. May God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Brother Robert, for the very heartfelt words. And now the moment that we've been waiting for. We are now proud to acknowledge our graduates of the class of 2020. We shall be doing this in two portions. And we will start off with the class of 11 Blue from the year 2020. And let us with pride acknowledge our graduates as we acknowledge all our graduates in this uh, certificate presentation ceremony. In a real life face-to-face -face situation, we would be handing over the scrolls. But in this situation, we will be handing our cameras over and spotlighting each and every one of our graduates present here this morning. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the class of 11 Blue 2020, starting with Alicia Ling Ching. Andrea Liu Chi. Brenda Gosin Yin. Celine. Celine Sim Mei Chen. Charissa Lau. Christopher Justin. Emily Chai. Eunice Tio. Jason Kong. Joel Lee Kai Yuan. Jong Suan Cheng. Keith Lau Hui Sheng. Kimberly and Yong Yun Tin. Lai Yu Shen. Melvin Xiang Ting Hing. Phoebe Nghe Hong. Renee Koyin Shan. Vanya Tan Ying Ying. Velda Hong Ying. And last, last but not least, Xavier Aiden Wong King Seng. A very, very hearty congratulations to all our graduates of the class of 2020. Thank you very much. And over to you then, Ms. Panam. For a change of pace, let us allow ourselves, particularly all our graduates, a moment of nostalgia 
as we take a trip down memory lane into the not so distant past, but nevertheless, a journey right from the days when our beloved school was in its early stages of formation. Leading to this momentous occasion, sit back, relax, and enjoy this wonderful video presentation. Tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own Feeling frightened of the things that I don't know When tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes And though the road is long, I look up to the sky And in the dark I found, I hope that I won't fly And I sing along, I sing along, then I sing along
Wow, that certainly brought back a lot of memories. And um, now we are on to the next portion of our highlight of the morning. We will now be acknowledging the graduates of the class of 11 Red. So, without further ado, we will now go on to the list for 11 Red of class 2020. To start off, Congratulations to Adrian Lim Min Chen. Elvin Cheng. Angeline Hu. Anson Morris Q. Cheryl Tiang. Claudine Mary Juan Olo Bersales. Clement Ye Gemma Chua <laughs> Ignatius Tan Ming Yu Joel Kristoff Kieran Sia Kimberly Hosanna Megan Gunn Raina Otsui Ryan Cox Sarah Ng Tian Sharon Chai And last but not least, Timothy Ryan Lim. <laughs> Thank you very much, our graduates of the class of 11 Red. And again, once again, congratulations to all our graduates from the year of 
from the year 2020 from 11 blue and 11 red. Right, I will hand over back to you, Ms. Param. What's next on our agenda this morning? Is there something exciting? Thank you, Mr. Kenneth. Once again, congratulations to all our wonderful graduates of year 2020. We have seen them on our screens, beaming with pride as is evident from their radiant smiles. But let us pause to ask ourselves, what goes on underneath the smiles? How do our graduates feel? What are their thoughts? We are now going to hear from one of the graduates who will deliver a speech on behalf of all the graduates. Please let us welcome Claudine. Hello everyone. And on behalf of the graduating class of year 11, it is my sincere pleasure to present a short address on this momentous occasion. I'm sure most of you would know me, but for the benefit of our guests present today, my name is Claudine Bersales from the year 11 Red 2020. It is an honor for me to deliver a little speech on behalf of all my fellow classmates of 11 Blue and 11 Red. I must admit, choosing words that would somehow hopefully articulate the many mixed emotions and sentiments can be quite scary in a nutshell. Then a brainwave hit me, Will's trying as best as I could not to let on my underlying intentions to seek some guidance. I sought the assistance of some of my dear classmates. As a result, I'm very honored to once again have worked alongside many of my peers to compile this speech with the words they, my friends, wish to relate to our mentors, teachers, principal, support staff of the school, and last but not least, our peers for the last time. So to everyone with us here today, I proudly present to you our farewell letter. letter. <clears throat> Thinking back to the days when I was about to enter our school years ago, I would always be filled with dread and despair at the thought of moving to a new school. But now that I'm taking my final step from the stage in my life as a secondary school student, I'm proud to admit that there is no place I'd rather have been and would rather be. And I would confidently add that I am not the only one with this sentiment. Although these past few years have been and definitely felt really short, They've honestly been some of the best moments of my life. You have all played a part in who I am today. I could not be more thankful to you. I've made some happy and sad memories here, but I will forever be glad to say that this was where I met some amazing people who I am proud, proud to call my friends. It is in my sincerest hopes that the future students here will continue to give their sincere efforts in upholding our school's brilliant image as we all move on with our bustling lives. To our classmates and schoolmates, never stop working hard. If there's something you wish to achieve, work towards it. We only have one life, so let's shape this life into something we won't regret looking back on. Just remember that you aren't meant to please everyone. With this, you will thrive. Life is more valuable than numbers on a piece of paper. For are we so weak that we allow these numbers to define who we are? Should you ever try to get somewhere in this life, just know that effort and passion are two different things, but both combined have the ability to bring you to even greater heights, some of which you may have not possible. To our teachers, principals, former and present, our dedicated support staff behind the scenes, will we miss you? I'd say maybe, maybe not. Allow me to elaborate. Perhaps as a student, it may not always be easy, but as a friend, saying farewell to their trusted mentors and guides, we all will always treasure each and every one of you because all of you have had a big impact on our lives in one way or another and have always been there to guide us through this obstacle course called life. Sometimes a little act of caring and believing in a student can be enough to change. Then again, none of us come with an instruction manual, so it's hard to tell how we'd respond if you pushed any of our buttons. 
And in similar light, we have no doubt, regrettably, rubbed many of you up the wrong way too, but it is all part of the learning process in the school of life. Senior year, a short lived fraction of our lives filled with roller coasters of emotions. Memories are made, albeit bitter or sweet. Though we're not all close, we are still family. True to our values as members of the large diverse family in this, our family of St. Joseph schools. May we meet again someday. May our, may our paths cross with no dismay. I now end my speech with a quote from Joel Lee of 11 Blue. See you in the White House. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for the interim, Makase. Those were really, really meaningful, meaningful words. At this point in this morning's um, ceremony, had we been face to face, we would be doing a very special passing of the flame ceremony. You just allow me to elaborate for a moment. The flame, the lamp, our school crest has got the lamp. The lamp signifies, the flame also signifies knowledge, enlightenment. We are an educational institution. We would wish to pass on all kinds of knowledge, all kinds of enlightenment from one generation to another. We have heard from Claudine, student representative of the class of 2020. We would now like to uh, welcome two students from the incoming class of year 11 of 2021, represented by Isabella Yi and Samuel Ryan Sim. They will be reciting a pledge. So instead of passing on the so-called flame, they will be pledging. They will be reciting a pledge first by Isabella in English, followed by Samuel in Bahasa Melayu. Over to you, Isabella and Samuel. Do we just the out? We, the class of 2021, hereby pledge to continue upholding the values, visions, and spirit of our beloved school, just as our seniors have done before us. We will continue to set good examples and to be good role models for the generations of students to come, to strive for success, to learn from our shortcomings, to keep our minds and hearts open, to respect our mentors, to assist those in need, to be trustworthy ambassadors of this, our beloved family of schools. Bahawasanya kami sebagai para pelajar tahun 2021 baik ra untuk terus menegakkan nilai, visi dan semangat sekolah yang kami sayangi sebagaimana yang telah dilakukan oleh para pelajar sebelum kami. Kami akan terus menjadi contoh dan teladan yang baik kepada generasi pelajar yang akan datang berusaha untuk mengejar kejayaan, belajar daripada kelemahan kami untuk membuka minda dan hati kami, untuk menghormati mentor kami, untuk membantu mereka yang memerlukannya, untuk sentiasa menjadi duta kepada sekolah yang kami sayangi. Big thank you, terima kasih to Samuel and to Isabella from the new incoming class of 2021. And once again, thank you also to Claudine on behalf of the class of 2020. Over to you, Ms. Faram. Thank you. We have heard a speech from student True Claudine, who represented our graduate so well. What about words from our school to the graduate? We are pleased to present some parting words of wisdom to our graduates from our teachers. 
as you embark on the next exciting phase of your wonderful journeys. Okay, hi everyone. I'm wishing you all the best as you continue your journeys, journeys through life. You have just completed your first step, your IGCSEs examinations, and that is what this is. This is a first step leading on to whatever A levels, foundations, university, traveling, whatever. Anyways, congratulations on this, and um, wishing you all the best as you continue your journey through life uh, until you reach your destination, whatever that may be. All the best. Hi class of 2020, congratulations on your graduation. All the best for your future undertakings and I hope that all of you can be very successful and very rich in your life. Bye! Hi everyone. Congratulations on your graduation. Just this message from me. The future is now yours. I would like to quote St. Paul in his letters to the Colossians. In whatever you do, do it with all your heart. May God bless you and guide you in every step of your life. God bless. Congratulations on your graduation, okay? And best wishes for your next adventure from Miss Lina. Bye! Boys and girls, good morning. You all have come a long way, some 17 years, to reach your present station. You might have been overwhelmed by challenges and difficulties in the past, but do take them as meaningful lessons in life. Now that you have reached the crossroads, do choose a path that you are most comfortable with and a path that is well lit with guiding lights. Plan and focus on the future challenges and a more fulfilling life ahead. Good luck and God bless. Dear Year 11, um, I wish you all the best. Right? Please try your best in whatever you are doing. Always remember you are Josephine. So as a Josephine, we don't give up easily. Right? So we work hard, we play hard, ora and labora. Good luck. Hello everyone. Uh, I hope you all enjoy your school life here. So whatever it is, I know we have been through a lot of ups and downs together. So most importantly is to experience all the processes that you have been through and also discovering new stuff, right? So, uh, so just go with the flow. Don't worry about anything. And, uh, and eventually, without you realizing it, you'll be getting what you will be expecting in your life. Yeah. Bye. Hi everyone. Congratulations, you did it. I am proud of every single one of you. I wish you all the success in this life. And I also wish to say that no matter how far you go, no matter how much you achieve, and no matter how big a success you will obtain in life, Always remember to go back to basic, which is to be kind, loving and compassionate to the people around you, such as your families, friends and community, especially those who are socially marginalized and underprivileged. God bless all of you. Do take care and I hope to see you all again in the future. Bye. 
Hai para pelajar semua, salam hormat. Sebenarnya hati cikgu berdebar-debaran apabila um, bercakap di hadapan kamera ini. Tetapi cikgu ini menggunakan peluang ini untuk mengucapkan terima kasih kepada anda semua. Kenapa? Selama empat tahun ini uh, anda telah semua memberkati cikgu dengan pengalaman yang tidak akan cikgu lupai. Uh, terima kasih kerana anda semua telah membantu dalam uh, dalam dalam cara masing-masing untuk mengajar cikgu menjadi seorang insan, seorang pembimbing yang memahami dan menghargai uh, setiap pelajar dan juga keistimewaan anda semua. Uh, baiklah, tidak lama lagi anda semua akan uh, memulakan fasa baru kehidupan anda. Semoga anda semua akan berjaya dan cikgu sentiasa mendoakan uh, keselamatan dan kebahagiaan kamu. Thank you very much, dear students, and you will always be in my heart. Uh, congratulations to you all. Well done. You've completed your studies, your high school studies. Um, it was a joy to have you all as my students. I'm sure I will not forget any one of you, and I hope you won't forget any one of us. Um, just remember, know what you want to do in your life, and always work towards your dream. And remember, your dreams will not work unless you do. Hello, Year 11. So this is my my advice for you, for your future. So irregardless of what your result may be, so don't stress out. The most important thing in in life is to be a good person. And I hope everyone here can contribute to the society in the future, and make not just Malaysia but the world a better place for everyone to live in. Okay, so I'll see you guys and I hope to see you again in the future. Bye! Hi, I pray that you will achieve a lot of success in your future career and all your dreams come true. All the best. Thank you. We need to thank tonight people that have helped us bring us to this occasion, especially teachers, and you've had some great teachers over the last four years, as well as your parents, who have been great supporters of St Joseph's International School. So, once again, congratulations. I'm sorry I can't be there tonight. Wish I could be. Congratulations, well done, and wish you all the very best for the future. Thanks. Well, that was certainly something and a, a very memorable occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, dear graduates, parents and guardians present today, this brings us almost to the end of our morning's very special ceremony. But no ceremony would be complete without a final blessing. And in a very short moment, we will hand over to you, Brother Robert, to give us the final blessing for our morning's ceremony, the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. Over to you, Brother Robert. At this point, I want to implore my dear outgoing students to always see yourself as good ambassadors of SAIS, and never allow selfish interest to blemish the integrity you have nurtured over the years in this school. Be kind and good to people you meet on your way up. Allow the words of God guide you as you journey to greatness. Think big thoughts and be optimistic in whatever you are doing. Heed the advice of our CEO to follow your dreams because the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Remember the care and love your teacher and parents have shown you all this while. In turn, go out and show your care and love to those around you and make our world a better place to live in. 
keep in mind that you are always a part of SJIS. The school is like your home. Always come back to visit your school. Send greetings to your teachers. Keep the link and be part of this family. Always remember that you are the children of St. Joseph. Contribute back to this school that has nurtured you, just as many others who have contributed in building it up for your benefit. Keep alive the spirit of Aura and Labora, wherever you are. Now we say the final prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, we ask for your almighty hand to be upon all those who graduate today. Bless their lives from the this day on with goodness and love. Help them to stay true to their dreams, to use their gifts wisely, and to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. Mary, our good mother, pray for us. St. Marceline Champagne, pray for us. In the name of Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. On behalf of the school, I bid you farewell and wish you best of luck in your days ahead. May God bless you all. Thank you very much, Brother Robert. Dear graduates, as with every school occasion, we will now conclude by singing our school rally, Children of St. Joseph. And despite the fact that all of us are at our respective safe havens at home, nevertheless, please remember to have your hands, sit reverently and have your hands on your chest as we sing our school rally, Children of St. Joseph. Thank you very much to all our graduates present this morning, to all our dear parents and guardians. Thank you for your support this morning as well. And on behalf of the committee, Ms. Param and I would also like to thank Brother Robert, Mr. Chua, Brother Emil, and all our working committee here today. Thank you for making this morning a success. And as we go forward, um, God bless and stay safe. Thank you very much, everybody. You may now. Um, exit the Zoom room. Thank you. Take care.